Okay. Bolt strength worksheet. Um, made some changes on this. So I'm going to go over it with you and I'm going to upload the new sheet and you guys can work on it. So, a couple things I want to go over before we get started. Give a range of values, 20 to 65,000 as an example. Uh, guys, go with the lowest. And you, if it's, you know, we're going to give you at least this, but you could get more. Well, could get. Uh, if you guys ever get a job and you know we pay up to thirteen dollars an hour, yeah, uh, they really don't mean that. They mean way less. And what's the minimum? Well, minimum wage, right? So you're guaranteed to get at least that, maybe a bit more, maybe a lot more, but you can't count on it. So use the minimum. Now, should you calculate area using the top of the threads or the base of the threads? The base of the threads is otherwise known as the minor diameter. The minor diameter of the bolt is the bottom of the thread. Let me draw this over here. There's the shank of the bolt. And there is the threads. I'm a horrible artist. Um, that is the minor diameter. That is the base of the thread, the bottom of the sharp V to the bottom of the sharp V not the top to the top, okay? It's gonna be a lot smaller than the shank diameter. This is the shank here. This is the solid portion of the bolt, which, if you look, one of the handouts, there's the shank, right? That's the solid portion of the bolt. This is the threaded portion. So this is gonna me measure slightly smaller across the threads and a lot smaller if you get to the base of the threads. The base of the threads is what's holding it together under tension or the proof of the yield. So we'll use that for the calculation. Now, how do I find that? Well, I have some pretty fancy formulas, which I'm not gonna worry about going over. So what I did in this form here, rather than give you over the stuff that you need, that you need to go over yourself, I wrote in a 9 16th 18 bolt grade two. So this is a pretty low strength bolt to grade two. This number gets larger, the strength goes up. 9 16th, 18. 9 16th is the OD of the bolt. So if you went down to the hardware store with a piece of steel with a hole in it that you drilled with a 9 16th drill bit, this bolt would just barely drop into that hole or have to be slightly pressed in. Uh, the 18 is the threads per inch, the 9 16th is the distance across the threads or across the shank. So there we go. <clears throat> now, I'm going to go back to this chart. There's two 9 16 18. One's a 3A, which is crossed out, the other is a 2A. 3A is a special, it's an odd fit. 2A is a normal commercial fit, it's the everyday bolt. So the hardware store, it's a two-way. You take one out of your car, it's a two-way. Uh, the A stands for male, it's a bolt. If it's B, it's a nut, it's female. So it's a class two-A, it's a normal bolt. 5, 6, 10, 18, 5, 6, 2, 5, OD, 4, 9, 5, minor diameter. Now, 9, 16 turned into a decimal is 5, 6, 2, 5. So I took the 9, divide by 16, I'd get 5625OD, minor diameter. I just look up on a chart. In this case, it's 495. So if I go back to this piece of paper, 916.18, grade two, shank OD in decimal, 0.5625. Area at base of threads. This is the minor diameter. I can even write minor diameter, help out. Don't have to. Now, how do I get this? Well, the formula for area is pi r squared. Now, order of operations, we determine our radius, we square it, and then we multiply it by pi. How do we get the radius? Well, if we know the diameter, the diameter is distance all the way across a circle. Radius is from the center point any point on the arc. So in other words, radius equals one half of the diameter, which is 
that symbol. That's a capital D. That's a capital R. That's radius. So if I take the diameter, 5625, I cut it in half. So I'll just take the old divide deal here. I'll get some smaller number. In this case, 0.28125. And then I square it and I multiply it by pi. And in this case, I will get 0.2485. So unfortunately, I took up a lot of my room here. So the area of shank is 2485. Area at base of thread, well, it's 0.495. And pi r squared ends up being 0.19244. So those are those two numbers, right? Now, proof strength, yield strength, tensile strength. And that's of the threaded portion. That's the minor diameter on each one, right? So I need the area, correct? Because remember, we always use the bottom of the thread. So I need the area of the bottom of the threads for these three. So that is 19244. And then I would multiply that times well, grade two, 9 sixteenths volts. So it's in this range. This is larger OD bolt. The proof load, 55,000. Yield 57,000, minimum tensile strength 74,000. So if I take my calculator, my number was 19244. That is the area minor diameter, right? Times true strength. 55,000, I will get 10,584, the tensile, it is 57,000. And I'll end up with Ten thousand nine hundred and sixty-nine, and yield is fourteen thousand two hundred and forty. The yield strength is seventy-four thousand. I probably should have done all that up on a page. There you go. All right. So, took my area at the base of the thread, the minor diameter, times fifty-five thousand, ten thousand five hundred eighty-four. My yield strength. 57,000 for the minimum yield times the area of the base of threads, 10,969, 74,000 for the minimum tensile strength, minimum tensile strength, 74,000 times that area. And I came up with 14,240. Notice these are way below those numbers. Well, yeah, because that's a square inch. This is some small section of a round fastener that's much smaller than an inch. So I'll go ahead and write those in. Proof is 10.584. Yield is 10.969. Tensile is 14 to 40. There we go. Now, Double shear of the body, right? Also known as the shank of the bolt. Um, what do we do? Well, remember this? There's the body of the bolt. There's a threaded portion. So we're doing double shear of the solid portion of the bolt. So it's a grade two, right? So what do we do? Double shear through body, minimum body area, 60% of tensile strength. Okay. So tensile strength 
is 74,000 for a grade two. So we'll write that down. Pencil strength four, one, two, three. Now, if we read this formula, 60% of pencil strength times. Sixty percent. Now, if I'm good with the calculator, I'll get this right. Is this going to be greater or lesser than seventy-four thousand? Well, sixty percent is a portion, isn't it? Not a whole. If I multiply this by hundred percent, I get seventy-four thousand. I multiply two thousand, two hundred percent, I get one hundred and forty-eight thousand. Well, we're going less than one hundred percent, so we're going to get a lower than seventy-four thousand number. Forty-four thousand four hundred. So we're going to use that in our formula. So the formula double shear is two times the area of the shank times forty-four thousand four hundred. What's the area of the shank? Well, two four eight five, right? And also that makes sense. There's more material here. It's a larger number in the area at the base of threads. So I believe that number. Let me push that up a little bit. You can see it. 0.2485. So 0.2485. I'll get my calculator back out. I'm going to multiply two times 0.2485, which is the area of the shank. And why two? Well, it's seeing two shanks here, it's seeing two sections of bolt. I know it's just one bolt going through, but the way this works, it sees it twice. It sees one piece of material here is trying to break, another piece of material here is trying to break. So there's one, there's two times its area times 44,400. And that is 6% of the tensile strength. And I end up with 22,066. So double shear is 22,066. There you go, guys. Try it out.